Ian thought was bored of all the winning when he was swimming. Here I am now, he said. Entertain me. They tried everything, from the underwater TV, following him with Buffy, to the specially ordered inflatable version of Lord of the Rings for him to read while he did the backstroke. But nothing could put the fire in his belly, not even training in port wine jelly. Nothing could remove the frown, not even the deep sea clown. Ian climbed out of the pool, still in his speedos, and wandered the streets, searching for meaning in a world that just kept on tumble turning. They thought he was one of the homeless. They put size 19 shoes on his feet. They gave him a blanket and something to eat. He was a little unsure, a little bit edgy. Like the time Alexander Popov gave him a wedgie. How do you console a man worth his weight in gold? Medals like Isaac Newton's apple hit him on the head. One morning, Ian fell out of bed. He took off his swimming cap. Put on his thinking cap. Enough of this tomfoolery. I want to design men's jewellery. He took all his medals down to cash converters. He wrote his coach a note. He didn't want to hurt her for Ian had a plan. He'd always known he was big in Japan. They gave him a mansion. They gave him his own show. They gave him his own pool. He didn't want to swim. He just wanted to float in it. He just wanted to float. Come on, boys and girls. It's time to tune in to Australian Ian Thorpe's world. Pretty things. Ian's head was swimming. Now this was really living. Remember up.